In 3.4 electromagnetic radiation and AM spectrum, we are going to learn about different types of light energy. So radiation and energy are synonymously used here. Here is an overview of the nine topics we are going to be discussing. The last one, uh, calculations with frequency and wavelength are only for honors chemistry students. So if you are not honors, all you have to know is how to use the C equals lambda times F equation. So what is uh, energy and how is it connected to waves? Wave is a common term used for different ways in which all types of energy goes from one place to another or is transferred. All forms of light energy is made out of wave-like particles called photons. So here's a mechanical wave, a water wave. It propagates in this wave-like uh, fashion shown over here. And um, waves have energy based on the size of them. So if you have skinny peaks, then you have more energy. If you have wide peaks, you have less energy. And remember all types of vis uh, light energy, some light is visible to us, some, uh, most of it is not. They are collectively called electromagnetic or EM energy. So let's look at the um, properties of waves. All of these waves, whether they are mechanical waves or electromagnetic waves, have four properties. So if you draw a wave like this from a crest or a top of a wave to a top of a wave or a trough to a trough, that distance is called wavelength. Okay? And Energy is a property that all waves carry. So wavelength, we define it with this symbol lambda. It's like an upside down capital Y. And it's measured in meters. Amplitude is the height of a wave from the middle of the line here. If you draw a, wave, a line crossing the height of a wave, so from this central place to the trough or the central place to the crest is called the amplitude. It's a way of measuring the height of a wave. It tells you the intensity of the wave. So um, we will not be talking about amplitude very much in chemistry. Frequency is how many times you see waves per second. It's measured in hertz. If you were dialing up radio stations, um, the frequency is measured in hertz and you have heard of this. And another way to measure frequency is meters per second. That meters per second is another way to say hertz. The symbol for hertz is Hz meters divided by second and hz are the same. So if you look at this wave here, there are two full waves that occur in one second. So the frequency of this wave in this picture is 2 hertz because you see two waves per second. I need you to draw all of this and write this information down. Okay, now this is a complicated figure, but I'm just comparing the two types of waves, electromagnetic, which is the topic of this lesson, and mechanical waves, which you have learned about before. So, all electromagnetic waves have both an electrical field showing in red, and this is the direction of the wave movement. It's the direction of propagation and then a magnetic field that is perpendicular shown in blue. These have no colors, it's just for you to see. So this is two waves in one. 
whereas mechanical waves are just one wave traveling in the same directions. So all electromagnetic waves are made out of particles called quanta. Remember the photon is a quantum of electromagnetic energy. So you could call a particle of EM energy a quantum or a quanta is plural or a photon. However, um, mechanical waves are not made out of particles. They are formed when different types of matter vibrate. For example, sound waves are formed due to vibrations of air molecules. And these transmit energy, electrical and magnetic fields. These only transmit energy. A quantum of electromagnetic waves have electrical and magnetic waves that oscillate or move together in a perpendicular direction to the propagation of the wave as shown over here. Um, for these, it's only made out of a single wave that travel longitudinally to the direction of propagation. And um, electromagnetic waves, because they are made out of energy and particles, they don't need a medium to travel. They can travel in a vacuum. This is very important. That's why light travels, visible light and electro gamma rays and other uh, uh, electromagnetic um, waves such as UV travel between space the sun and earth, space is a vacuum, right? And for example, um, if a celestial body like a planet exploded, you will not hear the sound because the planet is in um, a vacuum called space. It won't come to earth. So always mechanical energy um, needs some type of medium like a solid liquid or a gas medium to travel. It cannot travel in a vacuum. Um, some examples are um, all types of light energy like um, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red, UV, radio, gamma rays, x-rays. All of them travel at the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That's extremely fast. However, the speed of a mechanical wave depends on the density of the medium it's traveling through. Don't worry about this link. It doesn't work anymore, sadly. So when you take all the light energy and the electromagnetic uh, light energy and order them in increasing wavelength, frequency or energy, you get this electromagnetic spectrum shown over here. So if you have large wavelengths, the largest is the radio wavelength. It's a thousand meters, 10 to the third is a thousand meters the size of the wavelength. That's, all, that's a kilometer. And microwaves are much smaller. It's 10 to the, it's a, a meter divided by a hundred. Um, so um, the wavelength is in the centimeter range. Infrared is a meter divided by one, um, ten z uh, five zeros, right? So as we go this way, it gets, the wavelength becomes smaller. And here's um, approximate scale of uh, a wavelength. This is the size of a human in the middle, butterflies, needle point, uh, single-celled um, eukaryotes, molecules, and then atoms, and then finally gamma rays. Each gamma ray um, wavelength is the size of an atomic nucleus. Now we all know how small that is, right? And so the visible light we can see is over here. Remember that infrared energy is heat and we cannot see it. It's right next to the visible red. And ultraviolet, which we cannot see that causes skin cancer, is next to the violet visible light spectrum. And please 
uh, paste the image that I will make for you and type in frequency uh, energy and wavelength increases in this direction so let's look at some uses um, these are some uh, telescopes a lot of telescopes used for looking at um, space and celestial bodies use different types of electromagnetic energy um, here are some uses I need you to know this um, I will ask you questions on this radio waves are used for broadcasting um, radio waves and television signals um, and also for radio telescopes to see large celestial objects so the size of the wavelength um, can uh, shows you the type of objects you can see huge objects need huge wavelengths so to see uh, galaxies and stars far away you need radio waves not the tiniest gamma waves microwaves are used for cooking food in the microwave oven as well as cell phone communications and wi-fi infrared is used infrared is basically heat energy it's used for night vision equipment for uh, hunting and military warfare um, and if you watch the movie the predator the alien in the show he sees people through infrared vision and it's also used for television remote controls and telescopes visible light we need it for seeing things and photography and also for telescopes and binoculars ultraviolet um, light is used for fluorescent lamps and it's required for plants to grow and it gives us a little bit of a tan and it's also used for sterilizing um, um, in hospitals there are ultraviolet lamps above your head if you ever looked it's like a bluish light we also call it black light it's used for sterilizing um, also used for telescopes to see uh, celestial objects um, certain types of tiny celestial objects um, and uh, x-rays are used for um, there are medical equipment to scan um, the tissues and bones in your body and then finally gamma rays are used for sterilizing food and medical equipment and they have a they can penetrate uh, they have a very high energy and they are also used for killing cancer cells in the form of radiation treatment or radiotherapy so let's look at the frequency and wavelength relationship note that frequency is written as a uh, it italics f and wavelength is um, denoted in this lambda symbol so if you draw a graph um, about the in a relationship between the frequency and the wavelength note that when the frequency increases the wavelength is small and when the frequency is low the wavelength is uh, high so we if you plot this in a graph either way you can put the frequency on the x-axis or the wavelength on the y-axis or vice versa when one increases the other one is low so you see this kind of a curve you can also draw it like this so it this is called an inverse relationship they are opposite inverse means opposite please write this down the next one is the relationship between frequency and energy so when your frequency is high your energy is high when your frequency is low your energy is low we get a graph like this they both increase in the same direction so you can draw it either this way or that way they are called directly proportional so please make sure you write down this uh, connection and these figures finally the connection between wavelength frequency and energy 
is through this equation c equals lambda f so since all electromagnetic moves uh, energy moves at the same speed which is the speed of light uh, we can say their in a, uh, speed is constant so the speed is used as c shown in a c it's equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second that we uh, learned in the other slide so the speed of light is measured in meters per second and the wave's frequency is measured in meters and the wavelength can be measured in hertz or uh, second second minus one so remember it's um, waves per second so that's what this means second minus one is per second and the symbol is lambda so in the red box is your equation you must memorize it c equals lambda f and if you're an honest kid let's see how to do some problems so question one what is the wavelength of radio waves that uh, have a frequency of this much? So you know the frequency and you know the speed of light. You are asked to find the lambda or the wavelength. So it's like any equation. So you're going to um, express uh, lambda. So lambda is equal to C divided by F, right? You take, multiply, um, both uh, both sides by sorry uh, since you want to get rid of f here you're going to divide both sides by f right and then f cancels out here and a lambda is equal to c divided by f and c is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and f frequency is uh, 3.5 times 10 to the 6 hertz, which is hertz, another unit is seconds minus 1. So we put um, 1 over second, which means second minus 1, and then seconds cancel out, and you have your answer in meters. Next problem, radio wavelength is this much meters, and what is the frequency? Again, you write the equation this one down and you have to find the frequency so frequency is you're going to uh, divide both sides by lambda in this case and then you get frequency is c divided by lambda and then you plug in the values and then you get this answer meters cancels out in this case and this one is seconds minus one or second uh, se uh, divided by second means hertz and here is a review of all the questions and thank you for your attention.